keep in mind that the period of time we're talking about, the sometime in New York City period, was a time that the United States government was doing everything in its power to deport John Lennon. And uh, wiser people than I have explained the reasons behind this, but just rest assured that recently declassified FBI documents indicate that on the highest level of the Nixon White House, there were discussions about how to get rid of John Lennon, that, meaning how to get him out of the country. Uh, they were suggesting that he um, had an, a previous arrest in England for a small amount of cannabis, and that was the reason. But we knew the reason. He was a peacenik. He was anti-Vietnam. He was anti-Richard Nixon. And there were some senators who believed that um, millions of young people paid attention to the thoughts of John and Yoko, and they wanted him out. And let there be no mistake here, John Lennon loved the United States. He loved living in New York. He cared more about his residency in this country than the average American does. And for the government of this country to have gone through the time and expense, surveillance, wiretaps, I'm not, uh, all of this is verifiable, all of this has been recently revealed, the documents have been shown, this was a concerted effort, it must have cost a fortune to tap their phones, to follow them around. Um, they thought they were subversive people. Well, they were psychologically subversive and emotionally subversive. But at no time did they ever entertain any ideas of violence or anything more than the revolution of consciousness, the alteration of the mind. The deportation of uh, John Lennon, that effort, should be considered akin to the Charlie Chaplin experience. John uh, and Yoko fought the case all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court and won. And he received his green card and he was allowed to remain. John and Yoko's vision of a more perfect world was not predicated simply upon getting different people elected to office or adopting a different political, economic, socio means of addressing the ills of the world, theirs was more utopian. And for people in the New Left in America in the 60s, that wasn't good enough. They, they wanted the whole thing. They wanted the full commitment. And uh, John and Yoko were uh, musicians and they were artists. They were not politicians. For some in the New Left, they weren't going far enough. For those in the music business, they had long since crossed the line. So John and Yoko really were an island unto themselves.